हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए इंटर फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आई एम अनुज ऑल आर लेक्चर्स फॉर सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग कलर्ड बुक्स विद समरी विद रैंकिंग ऑफ एवरी क्वेश्चन विद अ होमवर्क सेक्शन विद अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी टेस्ट ऑल दो थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल एट अ वेरी अफोर्डेबल प्राइस ओके यू कैन सी द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द अदर डिटेल्स और यू ऑल कैन ऑलवेज कॉल एस ऑन एट जीरो जीरो थ्री टू फोर 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 कमिंग बैक टू टू डेज टॉपिक वी आर डूइंग एम सी क्यूज बेटा एम सी क्यूज वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी डूइंग ऑफ रेशो चैप्टर सो लेट्स ट्राई टू बी सींग वन रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम माई साइड ज्वाइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल फॉर ऑल द अपडेट्स दैट कुड बी कमिंग फॉर दीज टू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज कॉस्टिंग एन एफ एम सो लेट्स डू इट रिसीवेबल टर्न ओवर रेशो समटाइम्स ऑल्सो कॉल इज डेटर्स टर्न ओवर रेशो हेल्प द मैनेजमेंट टू ओके फोर ऑप्शन प्लीज ब्रिंग दम Managing resources, managing inventory. C. Managing customer relationships, and D. Managing working capital. Think of the correct answer. We have done that thing in class also. Think. Comment below, please. Chali. So now let's do one small thing. Let's try to see what is debtor's turnover ratio. Debtor's turnover ratio is calculated as it is credit sales divided by average debtors. But debtors and bills receivable is almost the same thing, yeah. So therefore, average debtors plus BR. Obviously, below average comes because in the numerator you have a P&L account item. So in denominator you cannot be taking debtors and BR on a certain date. That will not represent the numerator in a proper way. So therefore, for that we try to have average debtors plus BR. Now, obviously this formula okay tells you how good is your collection department doing. Collection department, that department who is responsible for getting the money back from the customers. Okay, that is nothing but your collection department. Okay, so therefore this tells you on an average in how many days you are going to be getting your money. Now this whatever uh, formula you all see in front of you, this will give you the answer in times. In case you want it in days, three sixty five divided by the answer that you get over here. So therefore, objective of doing this entire thing is basically to be knowing how fast you are recovering your money from your customers. So therefore, it measures the collection period. Obviously, higher the ratio, that means you are recovering your money faster from your customers. Okay. so basically this ratio will help you to manage your debtors debtors is part of working capital beta so out of the four options i think managing resources is a very crude thing resources could be of any type beta so i will not go for a b managing inventory could have been the answer if the question was about inventory turnover ratio so therefore that is not that c managing customer uh, relationships in a small way it will help you this ratio will help you to manage the relationships that is if suppose from some customer we are not getting the money suppose the ratio of some customer is very bad then in that case you can try to speak with him that such kind of uh, delays in uh, in collection will not be working but out of the four if i have to be selecting any one answer no i guess it should be d managing working capital okay debtors is part of your current asset current asset less current liabilities is working capital so therefore it helps you to manage your working capital as such it ensures that debtors get converted back into cash so out of the four my bet should be on d that is the most apt answer although in some way even c cannot uh, c can be your answer okay but d seems to be a better answer so therefore d that's the correct one